morning okay so i had a lot of requests to do a blow drying video or blow drying tips tutorial etc i wasn't exactly sure i was going to do that because i don't blow dry my hair i usually air dry it i only wash it like twice a week so on the day that i wash it i usually have time to let it air dry um so but today it turns out that i needed to blow dry it but i still let it air dry honestly like about 80 percent like if you felt my hair it's definitely wet or damp especially underneath and stuff but i do let it air dry most of the way my rule of thumb is that a brush cannot go through your hair until it's at least 75 percent dry because brushes specifically your hair is very vulnerable the bonds are very vulnerable in when your hair is in a wet state and so it, they're easily broken and damaged is caused by people just raking through um their hair while it's wet um wet brushes help so um, this is my dirty wet brush, but, um, these are better. They're designed to actually brush through wet hair, but still, even when I'm blow drying, I never put a brush into sopping wet hair. I always let it, I either just turn my head upside down and shake the blow dryer until my hair is mostly dry, or I, um, let it air dry like I did today. So if your hair is super wet and you have to blow dry right away, right away you don't have time to air dry. Um, just turn your head upside down, shake your blow dryer all over after you've, you know, picked out your hair and at least got the, the snarls out, um, until it's about 75, 80% dry and then start using a brush. So in order to, there's no way to like do a quiet blow drying video. So, um, I'll show you what I do to like finish blow drying tips. I use something as simple as a flat brush. I round brush, round brush, excuse me, my clients in the salon, but I don't round brush my own hair. Um, but I'll give you some tips so that you can do some directional blow drying and learn to put um, like volume in your style before you even finish blow drying. So like I said, 80% dry is about where you want to be. And then what I do is I section it kind of the same way if you've ever watched my videos on curling. I do the bottom half first. So however you want to, if you want to clip the top out of the way or just kind of pony it on top of your head, you just need it out of the way. Then you're simply going to take your brush and well, with your blow dryer and we're going to do the same motion, but I want you to, even though this is a flat brush, you can still put a round shape into it. So holding your brush like this and then brushing it out. Um, and then you'll simply take the blow dryer and you'll want to go with the hair or with the cuticle so that the cuticle lays down. Um, really important that, you know, we don't blow dry against the cuticle. That'll create more frizz and fuzz. Um, so going with your brush and going all the way down, but keeping that angle so that you get that lift right at the base. So I'll show you and I'll talk in between. So I'm not talking over my blow dryer. Same thing in the back. Okay, so with that, you can already see that at the base, that's where your volume is going to be. And then going with the cuticle like that smooths it out and keeps the hair laying nice. Um, a lot of people with a lot of, I don't have a lot of texture to my hair. It's not curly by any means. It maybe has like a weird funky wave that I can do nothing with, but that's about it. But you can even blow dry straight curly hair. So now I will just leave the very top section out. And what I do with this one this kind of middle section is because I still want to have some volume up 
through the sides too, is when I hold the brush, you know, I'll grab this section, and then when I hold the brush underneath, I'm just gonna quick shot at, at these roots here, and then that way it'll just kind of heat them up, and then as I switch the blow dryer to the top and drag it down, they cool, and it just kind of sets the curl. If you have a cool shot button, you can do that, um, where you actually heat it first, click your cool shot and it cools the curl and it just sets it for you. So. Now I'll go back in with the cool shot. So putting your brush, rounding it out, hot, and now cool. starting to sweat because it's hot okay the last section I'm gonna do my bangs a little bit differently hold on one second get that out of my hair um, I'm gonna start with the back so I just I'm gonna hold this out of the way to keep this out of the way here while I do the back sections, which I'm gonna do exactly the same. So using your flat brush, and you're gonna really just focus on picking that hair up and drying the base. I don't really worry about the ends until I bring it to the side and smooth out the ends. So. And don't grab too much hair, like taking the time and blow drying it in sections um, really makes all the difference. Remember, pull that hair forward and blow dry just at the root. You can cool shot, but pull it forward so that you get the volume. Now, 
out with the front. Um, I suppose I can do one more section going back just for volume. Um, I'm going to actually decide where I want to part it, which is going to be the side. And so I always tell people like whatever way you were going to part it, you want to blow dry the opposite. So what I do is I take my brush and comb all this this way as I'm blow drying. Really just focusing on the roots and then I'll brush them forward and then I'll come to this side and do the same thing. get to my bangs here specifically I take the brush underneath again and I pull them forward and down to the side that I'm parting on so remember I'm parting on this side I'm pulling it towards that part and I'm gonna round it out like it rounding it out and in front of my face so with a cool shot all over. Okay, and then even though I'm still gonna part on this side, after I get done blow drying, I let it kind of rest on this side until my curling iron's heated up, my flat iron, whatever I'm doing. That way when I flip it over, like I really already have this volume. Now the next step that I do every time I wash my hair um, on day one, uh, bear with me, is add dry shampoo. Now I don't need dry shampoo as far as oil or grease goes, obviously for the first day, um, but it's preventative. It also adds a little volume and like, I just think that hair styles better when it has a little bit of grit. And my hair is super fine, super limp, straight, flat, boring. So this just gives it a little bit. So spray in your dry shampoo kind of all over let it sit for two minutes and then take your fingers to break it up. Um, and you'll just have a lot more left there. Um, what do I use for heat protection? Um, I actually have um, a blow dry cream that has heat protection in it. Um, but I like, I like um, my blow dry cream with heat protection. I also like, there's a lot of like different mists out there that um, are good heat protections. I'm trying to think of the one I really like. Oh, it's pink and it's redkin. I'll think of it and then I'll post it in my story. <laughs> um, but there's, yeah, heat protection is definitely important. The biggest thing is, is I don't blow dry my hair on high heat because I can, um, I can actually air dry it so often and for so much, you know, I can air dry it to 80% dry. I don't have to blow dry on high heat. I blow dry on medium heat. I use my heat tools um, under 300 degrees or at 300. So a lot of that, um, heat damage happens after those temperatures and so I just try to prevent heat damage furthermore by turning my tools way down um, and I don't have the blow I don't hold the blow dryer in one spot forever I'm always moving it either up or down or I'm shaking it um, also not having it like 
you know, full force high heat for 10 minutes blow drying my hair, whatever. It's just a couple minutes and it's just twice a week at most. So, um, I hope those of you who asked for the blow drying video that this helps you or gives you some tips on how to dry with a flat brush because you don't have to dry with a round brush to get volume. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good one.